All right, it's Saturday morning. Get your asses out of bed. It's Pillow Talk Durham time, so get your pens and papers ready because today we are gonna get your body ready for summer. And no, I am not talking about an eight-day routine where you go to the gym, you cut out sugar, you basically stop enjoying life. I'm talking about a skincare routine for your body so that you can feel as smooth as... I think a dolphin feels. Also, excuse my lisp, I'm a board certified dermatologist who just got a built-in retainer behind my upper row of teeth, and it is taking a lot of getting used to speaking with this stupid retainer in my mouth. So with that being said, let us jump into body care for summer. Starting with eczema. If you have eczema, you know damn well that it's never gonna just stay on your face and it does extend across your body. What is eczema? Eczema is an inflammatory condition, also known as atopic dermatitis, where we get these itchy, scaly plaques on our body and they tend to thicken over time because of chronic rubbing because they're so itchy. People who get them tend to have asthma, hay fevers, even keratosis pilaris, which we will get into in a second. You really want to focus on hydrating your skin, keeping it soft, keeping it smooth, in addition to minimizing any sort of irritant, like any unwanted fragrance. Things you wanna look out for if you have eczema, look for the National Association of Eczema Seal of Approval. A lot of products actually have them on there. This is one that actually has it, so it looks something like this. And other things you wanna look for are things with colloidal oatmeal, glycerin, even petrolatum. It is a misconception that if you have eczema, you do not want to buff your skin or exfoliate your skin. There are different ways that you can exfoliate the skin on your body, which I would never do necessarily for the face. But when it comes to body care, utilizing exfoliants on your body if you have eczema is not a bad idea if your eczema isn't flaring up. So I'm going to jump in without further ado into product recommendations, starting with this massive one by Bioderma, the Adoderm Shower Oil. It is oily but hydratingly soft, if that makes sense. It's not a pure oil. It has glycerin in it as well as niacinamide and this massive Bambino Look how big it is, and it's usually in my shower, retails for $30. And you do feel very slippery, slippy once you use it. Additionally, Cetaphil, and I only have their moisturizer here, has their Restoraderm Soothing Body Wash, which retails for $14. It's loaded in vitamin E and B3, and it is quote unquote a soap free wash. It's a very creamy body wash that you can use in the shower. This is actual moisturizer, but the body wash itself is loaded with a lot of goodness and you do not feel like your skin is getting stripped of its moisture. Interesting fact, when I was in residency a million years ago, they had come up with a Restoraderm line and it was loaded at the time with ceramides and they were trying to, Cetaphil was trying to educate about ceramides, but I think that fell flat 15 years ago and if they had redone that today, I think this would have been a massive and bigger hit. Moving on to La Roche-Posay's Lipicar AP. This is a gentle foaming moisturizing wash. It is a creamy wash that is non-stripping, non-foaming, and this one retails for $19. It has shea butter as well as glycerin, and these are all three washes that you guys can use if you have eczema in the shower. Additionally, minimize hot water. Don't put soap or use bar soap all over your body. That could be the kiss of death for all of you guys. Once you're out of the shower, you want to lock in that moisture with a good lotion. Avino has the restorative skin therapy, which is their oat repairing cream. I really, really like this one. I also love the Avino eczema therapy. This was and is a staple in my household, especially when I had babies. It is a thick and rich luscious ointment. Over here, it retails for approximately $14 to $15. It's fragrance free. It also has prebiotic oat concentrate, aloe and provitamin B5. And I mean, look, look at, look at, just j'adore. I'm actually wearing a dress today so I can go ahead and apply any excess on my dry legs. Then we have two different ones which I really like and the reason I really like these are because they offer a different vantage point. Isden Uridin Lotion is a great body lotion and I actually have this on my vanity at all times. It has urea, which is a keratolytic and exfoliant of sorts, and it allows your skin to be smoother, softer, longer. It does, however, have a little bit of a scent. So if you have allergies or if you're prone to allergic dermatitis, if you have eczema, I would maybe avoid because it does have a little bit of a fragrance in it. 
So that is Isdin. And you have our first aid beauty, which is loaded in shea butter and elantoin, as well as Squaw Lane. This one retails for $38, and she's a brand new tub, as you guys can see. So let us do the honors of, ooh, love. Very, very nice. It's more of a whipped texture. Surprisingly lightweight, despite the fact that you definitely feel a good creamy residue to it. So that is the first aid beauty that retails for $38. So these are all great options if you have eczema. I would be a little bit careful about the Isdin, but I would use it if your eczema is not flaring and you're just trying to smooth your skin out. In terms of hydration sticks or sprays that are occlusives, Occlusives are very different than moisturizers. Occlusives help to lock in the water, minimize trans-epidermal water loss through your skin so that your skin can hold on to moisture. You're basically talking about Vaseline or Aquaphor. Those are the two big ones that come to mind. Vaseline has an all-over body balm that comes like this, form of a stick, which is great. Think of it as a massive chapstick for your body if you have eczema, like if you want to use it on your knees, you know, just really get into it or on your elbows. When you come out of the shower, you want to lock everything in, but putting Vaseline all over my body is not something I love to do. Instead, Aquaphor has an ointment spray, and this has been a game changer and a lifesaver when it comes to winter time. It is much more lightweight, and it is much easier to spread, and you don't have that tacky residue long after you've applied the ointment. The only red flag with this is that your bathroom floor will be slippery as hell by the time you are done with your shower. So if you do not want to be caught in your birthday suit on the floor of your bathroom by EMS, I would strongly suggest you put a large towel on the floor. Trust me, I have slipped, I have slid, and my husband has come and found me um, on the bathroom floor. So a little bit of a red flag. KP is our next condition. What the hell is it? It's these tiny little red or skin colored bumps where the hair grows out of on the back of your arms or outer edges of your thighs. It is also known as keratosis pilaris, chicken skin, strawberry skin, you name it, and your skin feels rough. So a lot of time, people are just sitting down with tendencies of wanting to pick the back of their arms and it feels smoother, but when you look at the skin, it looks much more inflamed, red, and not as you know, silky smooth as you would want it to be. The hair follicles themselves get plugged with dead skin cells. So it's a lot about of exfoliation. It's about increasing cellular turnover and making sure that your skin doesn't stick together. And ingredients you wanna look out for are urea, glycolic acid, and lactic acid. So in terms of washes in the shower, soft services have come up with a buffing bar which has micro crystal exfoliants. Think of it as a scrub in the form of a bar, has hardly any scent. This is their buffing microcrystal bar exfoliant, and it has magnesium oxide crystals, glycerin, shea butter, and aloe vera. It retails for $28. It's a physical scrub. Is it the hardest scrub? No, it's not the hardest scrub. Physical scrubs I make exceptions for when it comes to the body. But if your KP is very light, this might be a good option for you. But just be careful that it doesn't dry your skin out and that you moisturize after you're done with the shower. First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub as well. This one is with 10% alpha hydroxy acids, which are basically glycolic acid or lactic acid. And as you can see here, it is a real scrub. This one feels like sand at the beach. I would not use this on your face at all because you do not want to get micro tears that can lead to furthering worsening of your inflammation. But on our body, our skin is much thicker and able to tolerate it. Moving on to lotions for KP, same theme. In the shower, you're going to be using soft services bar or the body scrub, but you do want that acid to sit on your skin so it has time to work into your skin. Amlactin is one that you can get at any Dwayne Reed CVS or like over-the-counter pharmacy. It has um, lactic acid in it. It doesn't smell the best, but the 12% lactic acid is very efficacious and it has ceramides to help fortify hydration, which is great. Additionally, Eucerin has their dry intensives 10% with urea treatment. This one retails for $20 and is also available at Dwayne Reed CVS, etc. And like I mentioned, you can also try the Isden if you're into some aromatherapy. I'm telling you guys, I love 
the scent of this because it's so lightweight after the shower it's perfection and if you want to take it a step further after the shower after you exfoliate in the shower and before you apply moisturizer you can get exfoliating pads this is kp doctor body peel pads that retail for 28 dollars. they have lactobionic acid glycolic acid lactic acid salicylic acid in them so you can use this there is a little bit of waste when it comes to these because they come in the forms of pads which is not great but if you're traveling this might be a really nice option for you to take with you it is summer so you might be doing this at night or in the morning before you go to the beach I would strongly recommend that you reserve it for the nighttime only. And I would strongly recommend that if you are using any sort of exfoliating moisturizer on your body, that you are really loading up on sunscreen and reapplying because it will make you more sun sensitive and prone to burns. Yes, we're all about vanity for the face, neck and chest, but we also wanna make sure that our bodies don't burn because women get skin cancer on their lower legs, men get it on their backs. And that is a fact. Moving on to back knee. Back knee, butt knee, acne of your body. It's when you basically break out in blemishes on your chest, back, neck, butt, you name it. You guys know what acne looks like. It's a combination of whiteheads, blackheads, pustules, painful little cysts. And you really wanna make sure that you are using ingredients like benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, or even sulfur to help clear that breakout. Penoxyl comes at 10% benzoyl peroxide. Interesting fact, you don't need to have it at 10% for it to be effective. It's even effective at three to 5%, but just FYI, it may bleach your towels. So the way I recommend using this is applying it to your body or your face while you're naked, brushing your teeth, letting it sit for five, 10 minutes standing, and then jumping into the shower and washing it off. Try not to sit on any sort of furniture or towel because it will bleach it and it may dry you out. Next, we have our Sulfur Clearing Clay Mask by, again, Soft Services. This one is for $28. It has 10% sulfur and 1% zinc. So if you are somebody who has a lot of rosacea on your face and you're also breaking out, might be a good idea to apply it to your chest or back as well. Last, if you really want to take it old school, you guys can buy Hiba Cleanse, which is chlorexidine wash at the local drugstore. Just do not get this near your eyes or your ears because it can cause toxicity to the ears and the eyes, but you can apply it to your butt area, your chest or your back and let it sit. It is going to kill any bacteria that is living on the surface of your skin and it is often used preoperatively as a wash. In terms of anti-aging, let us cut to the chase and just let me just say it when i think of anti-aging on your skin i'm thinking of wrinkles wrinkly skin i'm thinking people come in because of cellulite and people come in because of stretch marks nothing 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 is going to help with your cellulite when it comes to creams it just isn't what helps with cellulite is basically lymphatic massages so this is where dry scrubbing can be helpful and really getting that fluid moving to help minimize the appearance of your cellulite. But no cream alone is going to get rid of your cellulite at all. So just FYI, before you go and start wasting a ton of money, um, things I think are interesting, but I know they're not gonna help. The only reason I like it is not because it is infused with guarana extract or it supposedly has some sort of collagen, but the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream is just nice because it comes in a large tub. It's easy to kind of dip your hands into and it smells really just summery and fresh. I imagine Brazil to smell like at the beach. And so you can use that on your body after you've used a dry brush to really get that fluid moving. So that's what we're gonna start with, with cellulite. Since we're talking about the body, we're also gonna to quickly touch base on stretch marks. Stretch marks have to be treated in office with laser treatments. It takes a long time to treat them. And this is the only condition in which I'll say hyaluronic acid, because it is inflammatory, can be used on your stretch marks to help initiate some sort of wound healing. I would actually use them, use this ingredient there and I would lock it in with a thicker, richer moisturizer. Hyaluronic acid, you have L'Oreal's Hyaluronic Acid Serum that you can literally buy at any Duane Reed and apply it on to your stretch marks. They may turn a little bit red and that is okay if it is inciting any sort of inflammatory process, but I reserve it solely for stretch marks. You really don't need it for your face. And last, fine lines and wrinkles on your chest, your neck, your arms, your legs, 
why not use a retinol on your body? And this is where body care is coming a long way. Versed, which has the retinol body lotion. This one retails for $18 with encapsulated retinol at 0.1%, as well as cocoa butter, squalane, and vitamin E. Then we have Topicals Slather, which has an exfoliating body serum, which also has retinol, lactic acid, urea. Again, just beware going to the beach. You do not want to burn. If you are using retinol on your body, you really do have to protect your skin with a UV visor, a UPF, rash guard, you name it. And then last, I very honestly don't think their technology is that amazing, but I do love the consistency of Augustinus Botter's body cream. It's literally like butt paste and it just holds on to all the moisture. Supposedly they're, I can't, I don't even know what it's called, FCT8, TFC8 technology, which is composed of natural amino acids and vitamins can help the skin regenerate itself. But if you really want to try it and true, it's retinol. And please, please, please do not mix your tub of tretinoin or prescription retinol into a body cream because it might break it down and it's going to render it ineffective. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's session of Pillow Talk Durham and body care, covering all sorts of issues from KP, back knee, eczema, and anti-aging. If you have any questions below, or if you have any suggestions for next week's video, let me know in the comment section below. Have a beautiful Saturday.